Alright, so we finally got the uh, Mirror Sister Channel assembled, and we've also begun on doing the pre-wiring for this thing. You see these three are done, but I'm leaving these two out so you see how they do them. So pretty much, we have the uh, 12 gauge wire as recommended by Marissa to use on the panel. Anything less, and you might ris run the risk of frying the wires or the panel itself because the circuit breakers are only 20 amps, and that's not that much. So, I have two left here. As you can see, I have one that's still the wire out. Just can't ignore those. Those are mistakes. Ignore those. Yeah, one with the wire out and one that I'm doing. Obviously these two are redone, but I missed a step on these two because I ran out of solder. So most people will just get them. Most people will just, you know, slide it in and crimp it down. But if you don't crimp it on right, it comes off. So as extra protection, something that I do is once I crimp it on, you can see here, I add a bit of solder to ensure that it never, ever comes off. Although doing this is a double-edged sword because if you do add too much solder, you're going to add an excessive amount of resistance to the circuit. And that's not good. So, I'll be showing you step by step of how I do this so you get a better understanding how I go from here to here. And obviously at the end it's just, you know, heat wrap it and voila. So, step one. Slide it on. Yeah, a bit. Make sure you have it done properly. And crimp. Something I always do is I crimp both sides on the right way just because I don't want things coming off. Next, test. So you can see, it is on there. Just a second. Awesome. Yeah, now that it's on, before you forget, slide it over. Next step. Let this warm, warm up for a bit. Get the solder ready to go. Again, this is an extra step that you don't really have to do, but it's something that I like to do, just so things don't come apart after. Now, the proper way to solder is you heat up the wires, and you let the solder melt onto it. Instead of actually melting the solder onto the wire, you heat up the wires and let it just absorb it. Obviously, I'm using the wrong tip, but the other one broke, so we're going with this. Where's operating temp? Which it still isn't. Bear with me while it warms up. There we go. And as you see, it just goes right into it, and your finished product should look like that. So you can see, not too much, just enough. Actually, we'll flip it. Oh no, the cut didn't come on straight.
better. As you notice, or you're going to notice as I do more wiring, I have a massive amount of OCD. Get on just enough. Right there should do it. So it's nice. And voila. So this is the wiring that's going to breach the switches to the circuit breakers. Next, we are going to do all the grounds and run all the power, all the 12 volts, volt supplies. At the end, it'll literally just be wiring up the signal wire, which that gets done inside the car. Alright, so now as you see, I'm now doing the ground wire. So the diagram that I'm pretty much following this, following off of this is what Moroso supplies with the panel. Which we have here. Pin 7 is ground, 2 goes to the circuit breaker, 3 goes to accessories, and the other pin for the circuit breaker will be our 12 volt power source. And you see our moments already switched. Pin 2 will go to the power. Pin 3 will go to the starter solenoid, which is just straightforward, but kind of not straightforward. If you're not familiar with wiring, these things could get kind of confusing. So to make it simpler, all these top pins for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, those are all ground. The middle pins go from switch to the circuit breaker extra pin down here is what's going to be our power so ground power and signal or to you know turn on this would be you know fan and all that other good stuff so essentially what it was this one long wire is going to go to my connector which we have down here so what I'm doing is I am running all these together. So I cut them out short, stripped the center section here, twisted it together, soldered it, heat shrink. I'm going to show you the process on one, but the process that I'm showing on one will be the process that I've been doing for one, two, three, and the same process that I'll be doing for the power. Alright, so first step was cutting a wire to go across. Obviously, I did the same step I did here as I did on the other ones where I crimp it, solder it, heat shrink it. So now, cut out a small section here, and then as you can see, once it focuses, once it focuses, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, ah, fuck, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> cut out a small section where the wire is exposed and simply just wrap it around. Now that it's wrapped, the next step, oh, 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 almost, almost, uh, uh. no, damn it. All right, we'll get better camera equipment eventually. So now that it's stripped, section here, wrap it around. Next, we're going to solder it together and then slide the heat shrink over it. Alright, so as you can see, ah, better. Twist them together and solder them. So when you do soldering right, the wires absorb it. As you can see here. So next step will be sliding on the heat shrink and then it will look just like that. So we're going to repeat that for the remaining two, and then our ground cable will be done. From there, we start working up top for our 12 volts. So as you guys can see, we are still at it. Finished off one. Looks kind of crappy right now, but that's only because we haven't wrapped, wrapped the uh, wires. 
Got the ground going. So this is the ground for all the main switches. Got the ground going over here for the USB, which is separate. It's currently getting the main power wire. And we'll be doing the similar thing here. Main and then just branching it off with these. After that, all that will be left will be the uh, 12 volt wire that goes to the battery and the charger signal. So we'll be linking all these together with a uh, the six pin connector. And here is our finished product. So once I finish it, I realize instead of routing everything off to the side, since I'm kind of following the same way I did it with my Z, since I'm also running a Marosa panel, I asked everything off to the side since that's what I was going off of pretty much. Although next time I will I redo this, I'll just run everything straight instead of going off to the side. But as you can see, we have our ground, pin B, our ground for the USB, pin A, Power for the switches, pin C, power for the USB, pin D. Our 12 volts for the starter switch is going to be A, and our signal wire, correction, F, and our signal wire is going to be E. Now, since I'm going to be the one that's primarily working on this car, I obviously am going to have this renumbered, but just in case anyone else decides to work on it, once he takes possession of his car back, he will have a diagram of which pins are which, so on and so forth. But, this is what we got. So you can see we use the uh, 6 pin connector. So, next step is to begin the pre-wiring for the gauges. And then, assemble the delete panel and the gauges together and then do the wiring on the car. That way we could get started and finish it up. But that's it for today on the switch panel. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, throw some shade, whatever's. See you guys next time.